check it out, open vibers. Listen, man, if you a viber and you out here and you know other people that's artists, hit that share button, yo. So y'all can tune in. Y'all know it's double the money, double the fun, double the pleasure, all that in one. You feel me? You getting your streams up for the freebie. All you got to do is just request it right here at Stereotype Radio Sam. You ain't got to come on Thursdays. You ain't got to come on. You ain't got to come on Wednesdays. You ain't got to come on. You could come any day. Any day you see this thing popping up, you log in and you request your song. But we're going to get into more topics tonight. We got B. Jizzle versus Little Wizzle, Lil Wheezy. Man. It seemed like BG, he was just, he came home, everybody was just like, damn, B Jizzle home, like, damn, he, he stood tall like City Hall. Then you had the allegations with him taking a stand. And then you just seen a lot of bad negative, um, he did a, uh, an interview back in the days before he even went to jail and said, yeah, if I'm on probation and my man in the car and he ain't got no you know, he ain't got no record or no felony, you know, and I got a gun in there, he got to take that charge. Like, what? Like, you ain't even about to socialize this with me, my man? Like, we we, 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 we ain't going to have a plan for this? Like, that that might not have been my plan for that day. I might have wanted to go fill out a job application or something that day. Like, you don't know what other people got on their mind, so how you just going to say that man, if you pull up and you pick that man up, and he hop in your car, and the cops pull you over, and you on probation, you'd say, oh, you got to take that? I don't got to take that if I don't know that's not my gun. So why are you putting that on me? You ain't no real homie. You shouldn't even be riding to come pick me up on probation unless, unless you about that shit. If you about that shit and you in that life, then yeah. You, you bought everything, that ticket. Like, y'all having this discussion, then you bought that ticket. But apparently, you know, he got a lot going on. I went into him last week about that, you know, him telling the situation and taking the stand. Because at the end of the day, he still took the stand. So, you still told BJ, sorry. Um, But now, he dissing Lil Wayne. He called Lil Wayne a bitch. He said it right out of his teeth, right out of his mouth. He said he's a bitch for not coming to, you know, coming coming down to, to you know, wherever he at to come see him since he's been out of jail. Like, he, you didn't come holler at me. So, you know, is I mean, like, Lil Wayne's not going to respond to nothing like that. And secondly, B. Jizzle, right after the song dropped, he do, he do an interview, and he like, you know, that's just the way they talk. So, yeah, like, me living down south for a little bit, that is how they talk down there. They're like, yo, bitch, what's up, bitch? Yo, 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 bitch, yo, let's go half on this 40, bitch. Like, that's what they be. That's how they talk down south. Like, they call everything's a bitch. Like, that bitch over there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... Everybody got different cultures, you know, everybody ain't the same, you know, everybody hood is different, and they got their own different lingo, you know, Texas people talk different from New York people, New Orleans people talk different from Texas people, it's like, everybody got their own slang, so, you know, he went in the interview stating just like, he he, he, he ain't want no smoke from Weezy, he just, you know, he just expressing his feelings, and that's the way they talk. They say bitch all the time. You know, like, yeah, bitch. Like, they could, anything could be a bitch. Like, in Philly, anything, like, John, John could be anything in a John. Like, a John could be a grub. Like, so bitch could be anything. Bitch could be, ooh, that bitch, that bitch right there, gooder than a motherfucker. And them motherfuckers could be talking about, you know, the motherfucking fried chicken wings you just made. You know what I'm saying? But you may think be thinking about, he talking about your bitch, like, that bitch good in the mouth, like, oh, dog, my, my bitch, why the fuck you mean? But no, that's how they talk down there, that's just their lingual. So, we're not going to get a response from Wayne. And even if it was disrespectful, I don't. I think, like, Cash Money is, they been done with uh, uh, BG. That's what everybody fell to realize, like, he been going so long, 
like they don't even realize like he been his own record label for quite a while, like Chopper City. Like he 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 really don't want to fuck with Birdman no more. He been like anti fuck Birdman. So you know he said it in this new song like. Birdman ain't had a paper right. You know what I'm saying? He probably tried to get one of them, give him one of them 1994 contracts again. You feel what I'm saying? Before they even became 99 and 2000, be, you know what I'm saying? Cash money. He trying to give him the 1994 fucking deal. You know what I'm saying? So, he like, why I take that deal? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why I take that deal and um be back in the, in, 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 in the basically debt with, with cash money? When I, when I could just have my own shit. So, I mean, all, all, all wishes to be just, oh, you know, you got a lot going on, homie. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's shit I don't agree with you on. Uh, yeah, you got a lot going on, be just, 